Hi, I am Jose Wesley from UFMG and today I'll show you how to use metadata as debug information to track variables across the IR programs. As we saw in previous classes, debug information is the main client of LLVM metadata. Metadata is a mechanism of LLVM to store some information about a program and keep this information as the program goes through transformations. LLVM provides debug information as an approach to help developers to identify how elements from the AST map to LLVM code. It keeps information usually stripped away during the compilation process. The debug information must only serve its purposes. In other words, it should have little impact in the rest of the compiler. No transformations, analysis or code generators should need to be modified because of debug information. Also, debug information does not need to know anything about the semantics of the source level language, since LLVM is designed to support different languages. Obviously, it should work with any language, not putting any restrictions depending on the source code language. Also, it needs to be compatible with tra traditional machine code level debuggers like GDB. LLVM uses some interesting, intrinsic functions to track variables through code optimization and generation. These intrinsics are prefixed with LLVM.dbg and they use metadata as arguments. Here we shall focus on two, the LLVM debug declare and the LLVM debug value. The LLVM debug declare intrinsic describes the address of a local variable. The first argument is the address of the variable itself. The second is a di local variable and the third one is a di expression describing how the reference LVM variable relates to the source language variable. This is an example of debug declare intrinsic describing the address of variable C2. Notice that the debugging intrinsic also has metadata attached, dbg15 in this case. It is important to know that there can be only one call to debug declare per local variable. The debug declare intrinsics are straight related with the alloc instructions. The LLVM debug value provides information about when a user source variable is set to a new value. The first argument is the new value that in this case is wrapped as metadata. The second argument is a di local variable containing a description of the variable. And the third argument is also a di expression. Notice that an LLVM debug value describes the value that is being assigned to a source variable, not its address. In this example, the variable described by metadata 31 is being assigned to a new value, percent %3. Let's show an example of LLVM pass code that handles those intrinsics and prints some information about the assignments of variables. We will iterate over every instruction of a function and we will build an assignment trace based on the debug intrinsics. In this function, we first get the variable associated with the intrinsic. Then we need to identify if we are dealing with a debug declare or a debug value intrinsic. This can be done using the isAddressOfVariable method, which is true for debug declare and false for debug values. So for debug declares, we can get the address that the, this intrinsic describes and print it. We can also get the line in which that variable was declared. To do that, we can use the metadata attached to the debug intrinsic. 
In this case, this metadata is a debug location. Then continuing, we now handle a debug value in Trisig. We don't deal with fine nodes because they don't have a string corresponding in the source code. But we will check if a variable is a constant value and we can check if the variable is being assigned to the new value. In a similar way, we can check if the new value is an undefined value or it's an address of a variable. Finally, if we have a um, value that is computed by another instruction, we can get informa information about the corresponding source line in the, in the source code using the same approach as previously discussed, getting the, the metadata tag to it and printing the line. Then we finish with our functions. To illustrate our, how our analysis works, let's use this program example. We compiled with the debug flag and the only optimization is meant to reg that promotes values in the stack to virtual, virtual registers. Notice that the two variables remain on the stack, C2 and C3, and we print this information including the declaration line. Pause the video to take a better look at the output. We can also retrieve the information that tells us that P1 is assigned to an address of a variable, since P1 is a pointer. And that way we are able to show this information for every assignment in this program. So that's all for today. We had learned how to track variables in the LVM intermediate representation using debug information. And in the next class, we shall see how to add your custom metadata. To there, you feel free to write me with questions and comments, and you can find the reference and links to the past implementation in the description. There is also a link to a video from LVM developers meeting that talks deeply about debugging in general using LLVM. Thank you for watching.